24 hours since three blasts rocked a convention center where uh, nearly 2,000 Jehovah's Witnesses members had gathered. The accused, Dominic Martin, a man who surrendered after he confessed, took to social media to say he single-handedly carried out this attack, is being questioned as we speak. Details coming out of exactly how this particular attack and this blast was planned. IED low-grade explosive devices were planted. The suspicion is that the accused actually made them in his own residence. We've seen in the last many months several such incidents in Kerala, some being a case of terror. This too, in many his opinion, will be a case of terror considering that the accused planned to ensure maximum casualties. But let's get you details of exactly what's happened and what the investigative agencies have revealed so far. Triple blast in Kerala has turned on alarm bells nationwide. The toll in the Sunday convention center blast rose to three after a 12-year-old succumbed to burn wounds on Monday. India Today accessed NIA probe details which revealed how low-grade explosives were used in the IED device. Sources say toy car remote, mobile phone, battery, circuit and firecracker explosives were used for the IED device and, they were and was reportedly made by the accused Dominic Martin in his ancestral home. These are the visuals from Zamra Convention Center. You can see how this entire area has been cordoned off. There is no permission for media or anyone else to enter. It is only the NSG teams, the NIA teams and the Kerala police officials who are allowed to enter this premises as of now. Teams of the Anti-Terror Force, National Security Guard and Anti-Terror Probe Agency, NIA, are in Kerala to assist the state government. <laughs> So the forensic teams, they're all, you know, at the spot trying to gather as much evidence as possible to understand what exactly happened, what were the materials uh, that were used for this explosion. But the Vijayan government is constantly under fire from the BJP, which has been calling this attack an outcome of rampant radicalization in the state, prompting a sharp retort from the Kerala chief minister. So Pindra Vijayan, the word communal is now being, he is uh, using it conveniently to cover either his ineptness or his corruption or his appeasement politics. Uh, I never said anything yesterday excepting to say how is Hamas's chief after just 10 days after creating uh, rape, murder, beheading of children is allowed to address youth of Kerala and uh, uh, incite them and radicalize them. The explosions which killed three took place where 2,000 members of the Christian denomination Genova's witnesses had gathered for a prayer meeting on Sunday. But what triggered the attack? Can terror angle be ruled out? With Shibi Mool KG and Shilpa Nair in Erinakulam, Bureau Report, India Today.